Hello YouTube, Mike here. I'm going to do a quick follow-up video on the clear acrylic, on etching on clear acrylic. We had a couple questions whether or not it actually etched uh, the acrylic or if it just transferred the color. So I did an experiment with uh, using black underlayment. I took the steel, I did a black primer instead of a gray primer and etched the same uh, test wheel onto the acrylic. I apologize for this type of video. Uh, I took a video and somehow it got messed up. So a little technical difficulties, so I'm doing it here. So on this, you can see uh, I took the acrylic, I put it on top of the steel and etched onto, uh, etched onto it, but using black instead of gray primer. So we'll take a look at the results next. When I took it off the laser, or when I took it off the steel, it might uh, it might just color the acrylic. So I brought it inside and I started using uh, hot soapy water and a paper towel. Now I would not recommend a paper towel normally, only because the uh, the paper towel you you want something soft. You want something like a, a nice soft uh, cotton cloth. Um, paper towel can kind of scour the the acrylic, and you'll you, you'll see it too. Um, and it didn't quite get all the color out. And I thought, okay, well, maybe it is. It just transfers the color, uh, which does, you know, as a side note, does op open up some possibilities of being able to etch color into clear acrylic. Uh, there's some uh, some uh, experimentation that we can do there uh, to see if, um, you know, it's possible that you could etch color in a clear acrylic. But, okay, so I first, you know, did hot soapy water, and that didn't get the color out. And I thought, okay, well, let me try hitting it with something a little harder. And I used uh, uh, magic erasers. So I used a magic eraser, uh, which I have all over my house because I live with three women, two of which are children. So magic erasers have become my best friend. <laughs> and for those of you who don't have kids, and you do have, if you end up having kids at some point in time, you'll, you'll figure this out. Um, so I, I hit it with the magic eraser and sure enough, it took all the color out. So here is the final result. I'll try to get this. All right. So I'm, I'm, I have to kind of angle this because of reflection, but you can see there's no color. All right. There's no color in there and I'll put it on a white, white tabletop for that. So, but you can see all of the color is gone and it left just a nice smoky, uh, finish. So there you go. All right, so I'm laying it down on my, my countertop, which is kind of like more of a beige color. Uh, you can see that through the countertop, it does look like there is some coloring left. Um, I don't know if that'll all come out with cleaning. Um, but like I said, this, this could open up the possibility of being able to etch color into the clear acrylic. Uh, might make some, might make an interesting effect. So that's all for today, and uh, hopefully you guys uh, learned something from this one.